Um, Locha. Woohoo, Locha. I love Locha. Again, he serves for nostalgia. Um, I love... He's too mysterious for me, though. I will say, like, I need to know more about him. More than they're telling me. Because what they're telling me still isn't enough. It's not nearly enough. Like, that's just... It's just not okay. Um... I love him in his little coffin. He's my he's my healer. He's my go-to. I love him. He's I remember when he first came out and his healing was so broken. However, because of him, I've become healer dependent and I don't appreciate that because I was doing just fine without one and now I can't live without one and yeah. So, yeah, you know, Jing Yuan up, up, up here, obviously. No, there's just no debate. There's no debate. Jing Yuan, oh my god. Oh my god. And I watch Sayu. Oh my god. He's up there. He's up, he's up there. Like there's just no there's just no like it's it's no contest. Like he's he's Oh my god. And then oh my oh my gosh. I was telling my friend this the other day, but Sayu was getting paid because putting Jingyu on and putting him as like a major like a major component to the fictional garden event oh my god oh my god i needed those extra voice lines i needed that i needed those cutscenes. oh oh my god anyway yeah jing yuan is um husband material for real oh my god it's my girl she's my number one Su Shang? Oh my god. You guys don't understand. You don't understand. I mean, I'm like I, I can't stress this enough. I love her so much. She's so amazing to me. Like, oh my god, I love Oh my god, I love Su Shang so much. I feel like you will just I, ugh, she's just so she's just a girl, man. And like I can totally relate to that. And then oh she also also serves as nostalgia, of course, and it's even better because in Honkai Impact, I was a major like I was I was a Sushong Ming back then too. But then in Star Rail, realizing she's here, and I was like, oh my god! Of all characters to bring back, they brought back Sushong. I'm like, oh my god! And then, and then the cherry on top is the lore. The lore, oh my god, with her sword and her technique, oh my god, if only you knew. I was like, oh my god, Sushang. I love her so much. And she was like the first, um, my first fully built character. And I definitely like, I poured like everything, like everything I had into her. Like I went and got the best. I'm not gonna talk about what happened with the light cone. I, I don't want to talk about that. But everything else, she has the best relics. She's her traces were maxed out way before. Um, she was maxed out as soon as I was able to do it. Like I poured everything into her, and she she, she does not dis disappoint like at all. She's my main DPS. Even if I do get Argenti. Which, huh, <laughs> pray for me, please. Um, I'd still use her. It'd just be, oh my god, it would help so much to have another Fizz DPS. Oh my god, and Argenti could be that guy. He could be that guy. He will be that guy. I'm taking, he's coming home. He is coming home as soon as I procure more funds. Anyway, I love Sushang. And in that same breath, I love Yang Ching. I just don't know where to put him here. Uh, I'll put him above Will. I love Yang Ching. And you know what? I know that's an unpopular opinion because I've heard a lot of people don't like him because they're like, oh, he's annoying. And they're like, whoa, Yang Ching. I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, what is there to say? He, oh my god. He literally got his butt kicked three times over. And for what? And then they expect us to do it again? In the simulated universe, like, please, like, you're kidding. Like, come on. And then, oh my god! And then they expect us to do it again in Fixtral Garden. Like, can he catch a break? Can he catch a break? 
please. Like, my boy does not deserve that. But he's so cute. Oh my god, I love him. He's just like... And then like the text conversations too. Oh my god. Those are so funny to me. I don't know why. Because Yangqing is just... Ah, I just... Oh my gosh, I love him. And he's the retainer of Jing Yuan. So how could I not? How can I not love him? Bai Lu. Bai Lu's going down here. Because I see the appeal. But I just like... I. It's just not for me. Like, she started to grow on me during... um her companion quest but that was it she grew on me to this level and that, that that's where she's staying um callus uh i haven't heard his voice as as much honkai as i've dove into i've not heard his voice before i'm sure it's great though but i don't know where to put him um i'll I, this is actually hard. This is hard for no reason. I'm putting him here. I'm, I'm putting him here. Because that's an um, honorary spot, of course. Because, you know, it's callous. Um, yeah. Um, pom pom. I'm putting pom pom here. Uh, I love pom pom, but I'm, I'm talking like, like strictly mascot purposes. I would definitely put Paimon. I mean, oh my god. I would put. God, there's too many P's. Why are they both P? What is with these P names? I put Pom Pom over Paimon. And they have the same syllables too? What are we doing here? Um, anyway, sorry. Oh my god. I put Pom Pom over Paimon. That being said, I don't, they, they both annoy me from time to time. But Pom Pom's voice is like a lot more tolerable. Yes, that's what it is. But that's like no shade to, um, you know, Paimon's voice voice actor core. They're great. I love that. That that takes a special set of skills. They're great. I just like the, the, the voice itself. It's just, oh my god. Ah. But yeah, no, Pi- Ah, oh my god. Pom Pom. Pom Pom. Pom Pom. Pom Pom is going there. And I'm done with that. Fantilia. Oi. Oh, um. As I, oh, I don't know. I don't know where to put. Do I have to rank her? I don't want to. She. <laughs> she. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm really basing this off of. She's going there. I loved her as a boss. I definitely, like, I didn't think they could top Kakolia as a boss, but they did with Vantilia in a way that I can't even, like, explain. Like, Kakolia's boss fight is, is just iconic. Like, there's just, like, there's no way to, like, like, top that in terms of, like, game-wise or, like, like, literally anything, actually. But, like, the way they did Vantilia's boss fight and the build-up to it was actually really well done. Like the plot twist and all of that. It was it was great. I would have never expected that. Um I think like I don't think her fight was better than Kakolia's gameplay wise, but um Kakolia's is still like iconic. Like it's just it's just it just it just clears everything. And I I doubt there's ever gonna be a boss fight better than Kakolia's in like a while. Crossing my fingers for a uh, peanut Connie, but you know we'll see. We'll see where that goes. But um, Fantilia's I the um, it, there's a there are a lot of components in Fantilia's boss fight, but the same goes for Kakolia. Oh my gosh, this is a whole separate issue for like another another day. We're gonna we're, we'll we'll compare the two later. But um, Fantilia's here. Uh, she's very okay. Her character design is actually is pretty dope. Like, I will say that. And leave it at that. Um, Jing Liu, I love Jing Liu. For multiple reasons. Um, she's okay. <laughs> I feel like it's a crime to put her right next to Yang Ji. <laughs> After what she did to him. <laughs> he was so mad. Oh my god. I don't even know why I'm talking about them. Like, they're like real people. Like, this is how deluded I am. But like, come on now. Like, she did him so dirty. But, okay. Actually, okay. She's not wife material. She's not She's not wife material. I love her. I love her to death. But, 
she actually no never mind she clears she clears this whole she clears this whole section because i love our oh my god i love her i love her character design i love her backstory i love her the purpose she serves i love like everything about her and the cherry on top is I love Amelie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Her voice actor. Voice voice actress. BT dubs. Amelie. I am uh, I'm like a huge fan of hers. And I like deeply, like deeply idolize her. And when I found out that she was Jing Liu, I like I fell on my knees and I cried. And I was like, please give her to me. Oh my god, you don't understand. You don't understand. Anyway, long story short, Jing Liu clears everyone. Everyone below the waifu husbando tier, she completely solos them. Without even trying. Topaz. Um, Topaz is okay. To Topaz is okay. Topaz is okay. Uh, she, she, she pissed me off. <laughs> Several times, actually in the um the continuance god god the, it was it just felt so unnecessary god she made me so mad and then in the um ethereum wars uh she kind of got a little better because i you know it it's it's it takes a it takes a mature person to realize what purpose she was serving and what she was actually trying to do and that she was just being stubborn about it and completely nearsighted about it, in my opinion. Which is why I was like, I can see it, but I still won't get behind it. Again, why am I talking like these characters like like they're real? Like they're not real. Like what are we doing here? Anyway, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, Huahua, Huahua's okay. She's okay. She's okay. Actually, no, I can see it. I can see the appeal. She was also annoying me because I just, she, ugh, I don't even know. It was like she quite literally became useless after she lost her tail and the whole tail thingy was just so like, like I don't know why but it was totally like weirding me out in a way like I couldn't even, I can't even like express to you properly why it was so weird to me. Um, Hanya, I like Hanya, she's great. I played through her trial. She has a very interesting mechanic, actually. I wasn't expecting her playstyle to be like that. And so I, I'm like, yeah, I, I like that. I, I, I can get behind that. Argenti! Oh my god, I love him. I love him. I'm gonna put the two redheads together because I love Argenti. I love Argenti so much. And then I played the companion quest and then I was like, oh, I really love Argenti. And I really need him. Like, oh my god, uh, I need him. And, um, I say I need him because I haven't, I haven't gotten, obviously I haven't gotten him yet. But, um, I have been pulling this, this, um, this phase. It's just that I got Silverwolf first because I needed her. Because, you know, it's rerun season, guys. It's rerun season. I needed Silverwolf. And I prioritize getting Silverwolf over Argenti because, like I said, I still have um, Sushong as my main physical DPS. I love Argenti. No, I, I am getting him. That's 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 a no-brainer. I'm getting Argenti. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I'm getting him. Um, Gwei. Gwei. I I love her. I actually I actually love her. She just she started to annoy me, but it doesn't change the fact that like I I love her. Like she's she's. Her character, to me, screams, like, obnoxious, but, like, at the same time, it's, like, for a very valid reason, I feel. I love her. Uh, she's, she's great. The only thing that pisses me off is her name. It's so stupid. And learning that Su Shang is the one that came up with it just makes me even more upset because I'm like, girl, why? Why did you do this? I mean, it's, it's a cute and interesting name. But like, why? You know, you know. Stell, Stell is Stell is God dear. She's she's God dear. She's, she's going near. She's she's like she's she's great. She's she's so. 
I I don't have to say anymore. Actually, she's just she's 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 up there. She's god tier. I should have made a separate tier that's just for wait. Actually, I think I will. I think I think I will. I will make a separate separate tier. And Stella's going up there. Heck yes. She's she's in a she's in a completely separate tier of her own because like it's just like if if you know you know. And we're moving on. Um, Luca, I love Luca, he's great. I played his companion quest and I cried. I cried like a baby. And I was like, man, these characters are really getting to me these days. What's going on? His design, like it's so, it's so idle boy-ish that it's just, it's just so off-putting to me. But his voice, for whatever reason, it's just, it's just like, oh my god, like I, I mean, I, I, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no more. Lynx, Lynx, uh, Lynx is down here. I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, I, I don't have anything to say, she's just down there. Fushuan, whoo, I like Fushuan. I, she definitely grew on me. If anyone grew on me the most, it was Fushuan. Because at first, the first half of the CN show, I was like, man, who are you? You're getting on my nerves. What the heck, man? This whole Matrix of Prescience stuff is just like, get out of here, bro. I don't, I don't need that. I don't need, I don't need you. But then, but then, it, like, the, you know, the second half came out, and then her companion quest, and then, well, no, not even her companion quest. It was March's companion. Ugh, never mind. Scratch that. That that's not a that wasn't a selling point. But um, her when she came out as a character, I really I okay, I didn't want her. I didn't want to pull for her because um, I still have to save up for Jing Liu. Um, but then I was like, man, I actually low key want her because her play style is broken. Like she's literally like, oh my god, like how, like why, like what are we doing here? And I wanted her, and I was like, man, that's crazy. But instead of getting her, I built up pity. But it's it's okay, you know, you can't you can't win them all. Um, but yeah, no, she's great. I she's she's great. I love she's she grew on me. I I like her. I like her a lot. Uh, especially again in the fictional garden. That was kind of funny. I love the, um, Pushwan is stuck and she struggles to be a diviner because it's, it's so mentally taxing. I love the, I love the realism in that. Like, that's great. Um, Yukong, I like Yukong as well. I, ooh, she, I like her more than Pushwan. Yukong grew on me as well. Um, but she was, I already liked her a lot anyway. So like, there's nothing. There's just, I, I have, I, there's nothing, I have nothing bad to say about her, or like her character. It just, her companion quests, oh my, it's all these companion quests guys, like they really, like that's their purpose obviously, but like, hers, oh my god, I cried, I cried too, I cried like a little baby, and I'm not afraid to admit that, cause whoo, it got me in my feels. Blade, oh my god! These last two are up here. I hope you guys realize that. <laughs> like hands down, these two, these two are up here. They're up here. Um, yeah. Okay, for Blade, it's just Blade. Like, how could you not? Like, ugh. his voice, whoo, Chef's kiss. His playstyle, whoo, Chef's kiss. I, 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 again, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the self-infliction. But if it gets the job done, I'm just kidding. I'm j I'm just I'm just joking. Um, you know he's a Stellaron hunter, and I I I love the mystery behind the Stellaron hunters, of course, and um, him especially with him and the the High Cloud Quintet. That that twist it really got me. I was like, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, oh my god. And then, and then the, um, I don't remember, was it, was, who was, wait, was it Don Hung's companion quest? I don't remember whose companion quest. I think it was just a quest. It was just a really important one. Um, 
after that quest and this cutscene with Jing Liu, I was, oh my god. I mean, I was already sold on Blade. I already liked him. I loved him. I was, I remember I made the plan to pull for him. That was, that was brutal. Because I already made plans to pull for Kafka. And then I was like, but then they, they said Blade would be phase two? Or was Blade phase one? No, 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 Blade was, whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. It's just, God, it was a, it was a struggle because I remember it took like 80 something pity for me to get him and I wasn't even guaranteed either so that oh my god I would have oh my god I would have cried but Blade I love him I just can't say anything bad about him and I maxed him out recently so he's just he's just doing he's putting in the work he's putting in the work he doesn't even need a healer he's doing all that he can and all that he will to like you know, just do do everything for me, and I'd appreciate that. And Imbibit or Lune, oh my god, oh my god, I love him, I truly love him. However, I will never, ever forget how I not only had to go up into soft pity on his banner, but I lost my first 50-50 on his banner to Himiko. So the only thing I have of Imbibator Lune, Don Hung, is an E1 Himiko, thanks to him. And I didn't even get to get him anymore. And I'm, oh my god, I will, uh, it still haunts me to this day, truthfully. I can't, I just can't. Like, I love him. I love him so much. That's why I wanted him so badly. Like, I was there. I was ready. I was like, oh my god, please give me Don Hung. Like, I knew, like, I knew, I knew he could go, he could only go up from, from there. But then I didn't get him, and I was so, cr I cried about that, too. Oh my gosh. I, ugh. You have no idea. You have no idea, guys. But, um, anyway. This is my Honkai Star Rail tier list. Um, you, you you don't have to agree with it. You don't have to disagree. You can, you, you're entitled to your own opinion. I'm not gonna tell you how to think or feel about this, um, this array of characters. You already know. You already know. The 1.6 to 2.0 chunk that's coming out, you already know, okay? It's gonna be a whole new, like, like, I'm so excited for them. Oh, I can't even wait. I can't even wait. I can, oh my gosh. And then the free doctor ratio. Oh my gosh. We are eating, okay? Honkai, Honkai fans, Honkai players, we are, oh my god. Hoyo is feeding us, and I'm, I'm living for it. I'm ready for this seven course meal, okay? I'm so ready for it. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, you're entitled to your own opinion. You don't have to agree. You don't have to disagree. Whatever. It's up to you. I just, you know, I'm doing this for funsies because I love Honkai Star Rail. It's, again, been my addiction since the day it came out, actually, and I just, I have a lot to say about it. And the talking about the characters is just one, one of the small things I have to say about it. And I just... I love the game, it's fun, it's exciting, I love the story, I love the characters, how versatile they are, how they're all different in their own way. It's just an interesting and unique cast, for sure. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe, and you know, I will see you next time.